Hey, what's going on? We are here at the SOE booth talking to Jens Anderson, creative director of DC Universe Online. Jens, how you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Last day of the show, how you how you been holding up? I'm, I'm doing pretty good, actually. The carpet's nice and soft down here, so the feet are doing good. The game's showing great, so we're, we're really happy. Well, uh, we saw this game last year in kind of a, a prototypical stage. It wasn't really playable yet. You're, you're, you're showing it being played here on the floor. Uh, let's talk about kind of what DC Universe Online is all about as far as the, the gameplay goes. Okay, sure. Um, I mean, we've come a long way since we first showed it at San Diego Comic-Con um, almost a year ago. Um, you know, right now we're running on the PS3 and the PC. They're actually networked together, and players are walking up to it on the floor, and they're playing against each other on both platforms in PvP, um, which is really cool. They're also going through a, a really detailed case line that we're doing right now, which involves a lot more story and face time with the iconic characters like Superman, Batman, Joker, Lex Luthor. Um, so we've come a long way, really tightened up our combat. Um, there's a lot of polish on the game right now. We're approaching our alpha date, uh, which means that we'll be feature complete and then uh, moving on to a, a friends and family beta after there. Awesome. Uh, so uh, PS3 and PC uh, online together, that seems pretty unprecedented. Um, it's been done before in a few games. Uh, I believe Final Fantasy XI actually played on PS2 and on the PC. But um, I don't think in this scope or this type of game has ever done that before. I mean, this is an action game through and through. You're really connected to your character. It's a lot more like a third-person action game, uh, you know, like Infamous or something like that, um, where you're just really connected to your character. You're doing really over-the-top, super powerful moves. There's no auto attack. You know, it's all up to your skill and your positioning and tactics as a player. So it's a really new experience for MMO people on PC. And then on the guys on the console really haven't had this level of sort of progression before. This like sort of stickiness with your character, growing it from zero to hero like that. You'll be playing in this game, or everyone will be playing, presumably, uh, as uh, their own created hero. But you'll be interacting uh, with the, the heroes and villains uh, of the, the DC universe. Uh, How is that going to work? It's going to work. There's a lot of ways. I mean, in what way do you mean? Like sort of power level or like, what do you mean? Oh, I mean, just, you know, well, uh, how am I going to interact with Batman or okay. Superman? Right. Well, there's a lot of ways. First of all, they're going to contact you a lot. So you'll see them like pop up on your mission communicator and Batman will be like, hey, you know, I got some trouble down on the docks. He's going to, you're going to go down there. That's a really good Batman voice, by the way. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Conroy, watch out. Basically, you go down to the warehouse and you pop into this private uh, sort of instance where you and your group or just you go in and you see Batman. Batman in there, and he's like up in the scaffolds, and you're going to sneak through this warehouse with him, uh, you know, trying to observe what's going on, then you're going to get the drop on the enemies, and you're going to fight side by side with him. Or maybe if you're a villain, you're actually going to take him on. So how does that work, right? How does a level 10 guy take on Batman or Superman or something like that? Well, you know, we get asked that question a lot, you know, how, how that's going to happen, but ultimately it comes down to story. We have some great writers, Jeff Johns, Marv Wolfman, um, you know, these guys know how to, how to treat these characters. Who would win in a fight, Batman or Superman? I, uh, I, don't, I don't have a good answer Batman. for you. Batman. Vinny, Vinny, says, Vinny says Batman. What does DC Universe Online say? Yeah, well, it, Batman if he has a kryptonite ring, <laughs> Superman if he doesn't, right? Ah. So it depends on what's going on. So let's say we want we want characters or players to get involved with these characters throughout their career. They're going to see Superman and Batman level 1. They're going to see them at level 10. They're going to see them at level 20 and so on and so on and so on. So, you know, one thing to remember is that contextually, like fictionally, we can make any story we want. Hey, you're cool. You're taking on Batman or Superman as a villain at, at level 10. Well, guess what? There's kryptonite in the room. He's weak, right? Batman's been gassed by Scarecrow. Cool. He's not at his, you know, tip-top performance. You can take him on, too. Um, the other thing is, too, that you are not a C-list character in this universe. We have a huge backstory, which is explaining the, the uh, genesis of all the player characters in the DCU and how they fit in, and they're, they're top-level characters. Like, they are going to be powerful. You're going to be picking up buses and smashing them into, you know, these iconic heroes, or, you know, going side-by-side -side against uh, you know, huge villains that you've seen in the comics. And you're going to hold your own. Uh, now, obviously, you're, you're telling your own stories here, you know, with these these uh, known characters, and obviously DC Comics are still coming out. Uh, are you planning on being reactive or kind of uh, integrating any uh, events uh, currently in the DC universe into the game? Well, you know, we get we we have a really great relationship with DC. And uh, I know Dan DiDio, I always see him at the cons, and he's always very excited about, you know, possibilities of crossovers between, you know, the comics and the game. So I'll let him speak to, you know, those kind of things if you can score an interview with him. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we have a really tight relationship with them and this product, and it's very important, I think, to, uh, you know, the future of both companies. And uh, there will be a lot of a lot of communication and, uh, I think, uh, crossover going on there as much as we can. Uh, we're, we're starting our game right now. We, we sort of have this timeline that we want to do 
do right now, which is uh, basically post 52 ish. Okay. But we're not gonna, you know, stick to the the huge letter of the law here. Like for instance, right now, you know, Batman's been been killed in the comics. You know, Bruce Wayne uh, is not around, but Bruce Wayne will be our Batman. So we're not staying like so so current that you know Joe Pro on the street all of a sudden you know sees Jason Todd as Batman or whoever is going to end up there and be like what what is going on you know so uh, definitely though leaving open the door uh, for the for the possibility of some sort of crossover oh absolutely I know uh, I, I know that's a, a huge possibility excellent so uh, when are you going to go into beta when can people start playing it and and do you have a, a date that you're setting to to try and get this live. Well, we don't have a date yet, a release date at this point. We're approaching our alpha, so that means feature complete, and that's going to be very soon. Right now you're seeing this game in a pre-alpha stage, and we're putting it in people's hands, which is really unusual. Um, so once we do that, we'll be in a friends and family beta and a closed beta, and then open it up to uh, a larger audience. And I think once we're in those early beta phases, we'll be closer to understanding what our release date is. Excellent. Jens, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.